Hello and welcome to Frankie Goes To. This week we are on safari in South Africa chatting to some of the crew that helped make it happen. Check it out. So Iska and Josh, tell me more. So it's in Gita. Technically what we're called is, is something called a field guide. Um, back home you probably know that as a safari guide or, or someone who goes out and takes guests into the bush. Iska, how long have you been here? So it's pretty much almost two years now. We started in 2015. So how did you know that this is something that you guys wanted to do? We always knew that we were going to move to uh, Africa. Mm -hmm. I've been coming to the southern parts of Africa for my whole life. So I've always had a deep love for yeah, the continent. Yeah, and a route here, yeah. yeah. And yeah, so eventually Josh did a guiding course when he was 18, um, just nice. after school. So he actually introduced me to it eventually. And then nice. we went to guiding school here in South Africa. The actual time we decided we were going to go to Africa, we were actually in Leeds at a party with you, Frankie. <laughs> and maybe about three days later, we decided we were going to go to Africa after university for a year, um, if we were still together. And that was the plan. And, and here you are. And here we are. So rewind five years ago, how different was your life and what were you doing five years ago? insanely different. Honestly, it could not be more different. We were doing the commuter rat race, going to London, crack a dawn every day, doing jobs we didn't like. Um, I definitely didn't like it. Um, yeah, not earning enough money really to have a decent quality of life. Yeah. And it makes you think about options and actually maybe there's something more fun I could be doing. It takes a lot to actually take that jump and go out and do it. So that's the hardest thing to actually say, we're going to leave our friends behind, our family behind, yeah. a secure job that we know how to do and risk everything to go and move to Africa. I couldn't think of a better lifestyle than going out every morning and every afternoon and seeing most incredible sightings, being out with the animals. I mean, you've seen like just in three game drives now, we've seen lions hunting, we've seen a leopard on an impala kill, <laughs> yeah. we've seen hyena babies. Uh, it's been unreal actually what we've seen and to do that as your job, amazing. There's more to it, isn't there? There's a tracker that you told me about. Like, what's, yeah, was, what's his role? And it's probably one of the most unusual things. There's a local African culture in the area. Most of them have very little education, um, no formal upbringing. Um, they come from poverty, basically. Often they'd follow their father's cattle, and that was their job as a kid. They earn their pocket money when they get their sweets by following their father's cattle and bring them back at the end of the day. And they used to do that by following the footprints on the ground. I mean, when I first started in the bush here, I'd, I'd look on the ground and I'd see a footprint. I had no idea what it was and I wouldn't have spotted it anyway because they're so small and subtle, but these guys are just so in tune with the natural world. Whenever someone asks you, like, oh, what's the best thing you've mm. seen? I think one of the most uh, jaw-dropping moments for me was where we went out quite late in the afternoon and we heard a lot of commotion. So I literally said to my guests, let's get in the vehicle now and we'll follow the sound and it was about a three minute drive away from the lodges and when we got there we had a pack of wild dogs that had literally just killed uh, a nyala and they were finishing off in front of us. Assisting Singita's vision to preserve and protect areas against poachers for future generations through their three pillars of wildlife conservation, eco-friendly tourism and community support was an honour. Iska, Josh and their wonderful family at Singita shared their vision with me and transported me to another world, one which I cannot wait to revisit and support. Mm -hmm.